we built him up to be the czar of football, go dig into his past or anybody that's ever coached with him. You can find out anything you want to find out, what he does and how he does it. And it's despicable. Have you had any contact with Nick since? No. Uh, oh, he's called. You just didn't take the call? Not going to. We're done. All right. So that's Jimbo Fisher after mm. the fact. You got a big smile on your face. <laughs> uh, first of all, let's like let's be real. Does Nick really care if he's done? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Does anybody care? Hey, you know, here's the thing about that. You could go down a list of every college coach now with his new NIL thing. Mm-hmm. That's what I said. And I guarantee you, I give me three years on this prediction. USC is going to be yep. the number one team in college football for about 20 years because they got the money, they got the coach, and think about it. It's sunny California, baby. They're going to be back on top, the history of that school, mm-hmm. and with the way they can pay players and the alumni that are attached to USC, those NIL deals are going to be off the charts for these guys, man. It's going yep. to be ridiculous. Okay. Here's they, already got the, they already got to be one of the best quarterbacks in college football already. Caleb Williams. And, yeah, and they're coming in little by little. But back to, hey, come on. Up. Bryce Young had a million-dollar NIL deal, too. He's a quarterback from Alabama. There's so many okay. guys that are in college now getting these NIL deals. And, I, you know, big ups to Brady, Tom Brady, for giving all these college students opportunities to, you know, pose for his line of clothes or model for their line of clothes and do all this kind of stuff because – these colleges have made so much money off the backs of student athletes. And now you want to, I don't think Nick has the right to be upset. Jim Bono, if I can make money off my name, why not? You making money off my name. That's on the back of the Jersey. Mm-hmm. I'm not making money off the front of the Jersey like you are, but let me capitalize on my name. Why it's hot. Cause a lot of these kids, they ain't going to the next level, but they got to strike while the iron's hot right now. Absolutely. And here's my thing. I love Nick Saban as a coach. As a, as a program builder, as a recruiter. But this is flat out 100% hate. Because like Jimbo said, look, I ain't, I, I don't, I'm indifferent about Jimbo. Jimbo's a good coach, whatever. He is what he is. But like he said, when you're not on top, you're Alabama, dude. You're still going to get, you're, you're still going to get some of the best talent in the league. And to bring Deion Sanders into this, after he's trying to build up a program in Jackson State, and also trying to make other HBCUs around the nation respectable. And you want to go after a guy who you tried to go after as well, and you couldn't get him. And you want to be bitter and you want to be mad and you want to be upset when you probably got four, five, six, seven, eight other four and five star guys that Dion probably wanted and they didn't want to go to Jackson state, but you let one five star get away. And now you're mad. And now you want to be a hater. Stop. You're Alabama. You got money. You got boosters. Do what you need to do. Now, I think he did this for one reason. He's talking in front of the money people. He's trying to get them to fork up some more money. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. He's all business <laughs> hey, leaders. Hey, <laughs> hey, business hey leaders. I, I was, I was going to say, let's not, let's, do you think Nick is really mad about one guy getting away? Oh, no. no. Because that one guy ain't no guarantee he's going to be good unless you know he's an LT or something. But I guarantee you that was a ploy. Think about this. If you go back way, way back, this is almost the same thing Bear Bryant said when he didn't have any black players. It's almost identical to what he said. When he says, you know what? Mm-hmm. You know, this whole world is changing right now. And, you know, we're going to have to get us a couple of them too. And next thing you know, the next year they have black players, black players, black players, because that's what it's about. Sometimes you have to bring stuff to the light so that that that, that alumni, I'm not just talking about Alabama, I'm talking about all alumni. They're going to like, oh, shit, we got to get on board. Then we want to stay. We like putting our chest out and bragging. But, yeah. hey, we ain't putting the money out like this school, that school. Oh, you know, they're going to have to. 